Okay, what's up everyone? Uh, thanks for clicking on the video. So today we're gonna do another um, Bertrand run. Bertrand? Bertrand? Whatever. I still can't figure out how to say this character's name. But um, I have... Uh, it's been a couple of days since the last video I did on this character. And we're gonna be playing in Fiend Folio mod of course. And also we have on the Anti-Birth music mod. But it's been a few days since the last video. I've played a little bit of Bertrand on stream, so I do recommend you check out my stream over at uh, twitch.tv slash Kyoko-chan. I do um, stream like maybe three to four times a week. I play Isaac, I play uh, Terraria sometimes, and other games as well. So I do recommend you check out the stream. But yeah, I did play a couple of uh, games with uh, a couple runs with Bertrand on stream a little while ago. And I've gotten a little bit used to this character, and I gotta say that I think Bertrand... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about this, like, but low-key, I don't think Bertrand is, like, crazy strong. It feels like he kind of, like, falls off late game, but I might be wrong about that. It's, it's an interesting character. I do like the playstyle. Like, I find, find it really interesting to play. And I like the techniques that it has as well. Like, it reminds me of, like, trying to play a fighting game character with all the weird techniques and cool stuff you could do. I've been- I actually, now that I mentioned that, I've, been, I've, gotten, I've gotten like some cool uses out of the tension move. It's actually like, it has some uses, like for sure it has some uses. Uh, one thing, I, the reason I started using it a lot is because on one of the runs I did on stream, I got Mom's Knife. And if you haven't, if you've never gotten Mom's Knife with uh, Bertram before, it's awful. Basically every time you, uh, every time you propel your head, it gets stuck inside of an enemy, and like you're tethered to the floor to where to, you're tethered to wherever the enemy is. So it's kind of like playing the Forgotten whenever you switch to the soul, and you know you're pretty much stuck to where the body is. You can't go too far away from it, which is like really weird. Like it, it kind of like it's not too great honestly when that happens, because you can't really move and you're just like stuck inside of the enemy. So that's one thing that, that was an interesting synergy. That's like the most interesting synergy I've gotten. With uh, Bertrand, because I, I still didn't play that much. I think I've played like maybe two or three runs of Bertrand since that day, and I'm pretty sure I died in like all of them, but that one with the uh, mom's knife. And the reason I didn't die in that run is because I was like, I think I had like a bunch of HP. I don't remember, but um, I don't know. Like I like the character, but I, I do think that it's a little bit hard. Maybe I'm just like bad, you know? Not 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 in the bad thing or anything. I don't think it's like. Being hard is bad, because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm up for a difficult, difficult character that's like a little bit different from Keeper, the Soul, and Fiend, because it doesn't, um, Bertrand doesn't die in like two hits. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Then uh, when I get to like the later floors, I start taking a lot of damage. Now to make things interesting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the GMO penny. So every time we pick up a, a penny, it'll give us a. I think it has a chance to give us a a pill effect and even if you do have PhD from what I remember the P the pill effect can still be not good so I think that'll be a little bit interesting to, um, then using the black feather whatever that does again I think it gives you like damage up or whatever if you have uh, certain devil deal items but anyway, yeah, um, this pill kind of sucks because you can get like telepills from it and um, G GMO penny and this trinket I should say, not pill. This trinket kind of sucks because they can like randomly teleport you to um, places you don't want to be teleported to, like the I am error room. And that kind of sucks because yeah, you kind of just skip the rest of the floor. I've had that happen to me a couple times, but we can get some decent stat subs if we're lucky. So that'd be cool if we do. Uh, let's just go ahead and fight the boss. I've already like wasted a bunch of time talking, but yeah I'm gonna try to use the tension move a little bit more. Uh Oh buck All right, I'm gonna try my best to not get hit I'm still not too used to the fiend folio bosses that much and a lot of them are crazy as hell uh Oh, I don't want to lose the bone heart if at all possible for us Okay, well, let me focus real quick. I hate those uh, enemies that those enemies will consume your, um, uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let me focus real quick. Those enemies will consume your consumables, they'll like, eat it and throw it at you. They take coins, golden bombs, anything they can get basically, and they will throw it right back at you, which is 
pretty crazy and not good. Because I've gotten into rooms where they just like eat dimes and stuff on the floor that I kind of want to keep for myself. So whenever you see those enemies, you should definitely take care of them as soon as possible. And you also know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the shop and buy a red heart just to have some sort of installation. Because I want to... I guess I could just buy a soul heart, right? Mm, I mean, whatever. We already have the red heart, so, you know? It is what it is. But, um, yeah. I guess the soul heart... Um, the, the red heart is a little bit cheaper. I want to keep the bone heart if possible. Plus, we do have the golden heart as well that's on top of the bone heart so we could actually get a good synergy with like a bunch of random pill effects if we're lucky now the first thing that we want to do is uh, uh oh hold on i gotta do the meat spin yeah the meat spin this move is actually like pretty good for crowd control it doesn't do a lot of damage from what i've seen but it's it's decent for crowd control if you're ever surrounded like that so i try my best to get some use out of it it just sucks. Damage is like really, really neutered with this attack. So it's not something that I would use very often. Alright, uh, we can try to make something happen here with the Demon Judgment. And maybe even the regular Judgment. I don't think we want to take uh, that Trinket. I don't think we want to take No. Because that's going to lead to some problems later. How does Euthanasia work with us? Hmm. I don't really know. I'm gonna just blow up this uh, bomb judgment because I find that they don't pay out as often as you would like. So I'm gonna blow you up, and then we might come back for that demon judgment. Oh, you know what? Actually, why don't we go ahead and blow them up as well? Because I want to get a red heart to maybe preserve our bone heart so we don't take damage at least. Yeah, I think that's the better choice. But yeah, this attack is pretty. Uh, it's pretty useful. In situations where you need to do some crowd control, it just doesn't do a lot of damage. That's the main gripe with that attack. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Oops. Oh, I was trying to get the pip, but yeah, we um our main focal point will be to try to get the pips as soon as possible so that we can get that damage up. And I'm actually gonna take the liberty to blow this up and get the half a red heart and yeah, find the secret room that's there as well. And hey, so that means that if we do get a pedestal, if we do this and get a pedestal, then we can. Oh, that also happens too. I forgot about that. But we can totally like get a payout and reroll it with the reroll machine. I'm pretty sure. So why don't we come back there actually? Oh, we can also use the judgment to get like a double payout as well if we're lucky. Hmm. Okay. Well, that could be an interesting room for us. So we're gonna definitely come back to that room. I'm gonna take the soul heart. And let's check inside here. Hmm. Diptopia or this thingy? Well, I think. Oh, wait. So, what if we Diplopia inside of the secret room? Like, we get the item payoffs and then we Diplopia. So, that'll be a four item reroll, basically, right? The only issue is that we're gonna have to spend a bunch of money on Diplopia. I mean, not Diplopia. We're gonna have to spend a bunch of money on the judgments. But yeah, why don't we uh, why don't we do that? Hmm. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, right? We're gonna go to the shop. Is it better for me to deploy at the judgment or the payouts? I think the payouts from the judgment, right? Because then we'll have to pay out two judgments instead of just getting one judgment and then deploy in their um payout. So yeah, why don't we do that? Um. Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna go ahead and play this, try our best to get a payout. Even if it's Blood Bag, I'll actually take the liberty to re-roll Blood Bag. So that way we can get more pedestals on the ground, then um, let's go ahead, pop Judgment. Thankfully, Judgment is a regular Judgment and not a Demon Judgment, so we can go ahead and use the money to play Judgment. And the goal is to have that happen. Oh, can I get out of here? I mean, I guess I could just blow out the um, back right I can just go here okay cool so we'll get some more HP then we'll come back to that room because I think we have something good going on there actually if we can get the blood donation machine to pay out for us we'll have um we'll have two pedestals and then we could all we can always drop um you can always use the plopia to double both of the pedestals and then we'll have like more ammo for rerolling 
That's a cool little synergy that we have there. That's really awesome. I like that. Uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of this head guy and then uh, try not to take damage from that stupid fly over there. I still have a lot of getting used to with uh, this character. But I sh yeah, I should definitely be using the tension move a little bit more. Because you do have invincibility with it, and you can go over creep as well. You can't go over spikes from what I can see, but creep for sure. And also, we should hold on to the plopia as well, because maybe we can get something good out of uh, the double deal that we want to double. Like, double brimstone would be good, right? I think. I don't know about with this character. But in most circumstances, double brimstone ain't too bad. Okay, let's try our best not to get hit twice in this fight. I should use my Mega Bombs, should I not? Yeah, I think I should. Okay, cool. Maybe another bomb just to be on the safe side. Are you kidding me? That enemy spawned right on top of me. That seems a little bit disingenuous. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, you're not dead? Why are you not dead yet? Yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I feel like uh, Bertrand just does too little damage. I might, it might just be me. Maybe I'm, I'm just awful. But I get the feeling sometimes, you know? Mm. Well, <laughs> tell you what, right? So here's the thing, here's the thing. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead if we take anything, because we don't have enough uh, red hearts to facilitate this deal. But besides that, I don't think Mom's Knife is that great with this character. I'd rather just, like, not take Mom's Knife, honestly. It's kind of not great. That's that's one thing that I uh, said to myself the last time I played as Bertrand. Not to take Mom's Knife, and there goes my Bone Heart, unfortunately. I don't know if this run is gonna go well. I'm gonna try to do a couple of runs in this video, and then we'll, you know, all in the video, of course. Uh, even if we don't win, you know, that's fine. I just want to get something out there. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, do, I do enjoy Bertrand. It's a very interesting character. Um, I mean, I could play you, right? And maybe get more HP from you. Then that'll let us fuel the donation machine, the blood donation machine inside of the shop, right? So I think that's, like, the best course of action. And we do have a black heart, so that's pretty good, actually. Uh, I'll just take Mystery Sack because we can't really do anything else with it. I'll take the Black Heart, and I think I might throw up my donation machine again so we can get some more money. Buy another Red Heart, and take another... Oh wait, we don't have a Red Heart inside here. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do we do then? I mean, we can, we can always, like, try to get something from... From the secret room. Oh yeah, I should not go inside of that entrance because I might take the HP up. That's right, at the front of the entrance. So we come down here. We could try this again. Yeah, it's not paying out. That's the issue. But should I diplopia anyway? Even though we don't have a payout. Oh, you know what? We should do the rest of the floor. That way we can get some more HP from the rest of the floor. Then we'll come back to the secret room and then we will... Try to make that happen. Does that even work? Like, if you, if you spawn an item like that, does it even, um, does the reroll machine even work for it? I'm assuming it does, but like, what if I'm doing all this and it doesn't even work? That would be uh, pretty awful for us. But let's see. I don't, I don't know if it works or not. Also, have you noticed that we haven't really gotten? Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try my best not to get hit here. Hey, we got a red heart. That's good. Okay, so the reason I didn't use the AoE effect is because these guys burst into shots, and if you get close to them, they will they have like a proximity reaction to them, and they will burst into shots if you get too close, and they burst into more shots. I think they burst into like six shots from like every direction. So that's the reason why I didn't use the meat spin attack, because it would have been in my best interest not to do that. Uh, we, but we did get a little bit more fuel for the donation machine. We will go back there in a second or two. Oh no, that's not good. Now I can't play off the donation machine anymore. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, let's see what this does. It makes you smaller. 
You know what? We can still buy the soul heart at least. Actually, yeah, we can do that. We can buy the soul heart. I'm kind of like risking it right now. I should probably just take the HP up, but like this will be so much better if you get a good payout from the donation machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the soul heart. Then we'll go back to the blood donation machine and try again. Because we have three plays from it technically. I just want this to work out for us. This will be so cool if it works out. Then we'll use the Plopia, you know? Okay. How about I just use the Plopia now anyway? And then we try to reroll this thing. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't reroll, we get 2 HP. Right? Yeah, I think that's our best course of it. Um, action. Because there's nothing else we could really do. I mean, we can try and hope that one of these spells is like Hemotemesis or Full Health. X less. Not. Yeah, there's nothing else we could really do to help ourselves right now. So. Oh, you know what? There is, there is something. We can blow up the blood donation machine inside here. This will be our like last shot for HP, and we did get some more HP. So this is our last shot for us to get like um IV bag or something, or payout, any payout from the blood donation machine. Okay, cool. But we didn't get anything, so let's go ahead and do this. Then let's go ahead and do this, and hopefully this works. Please work. It does work. So we will take you. Skeleton key is really good. Let's go ahead and put some money into this thing. No, we don't want that. Uh, what should we do? I guess we can do this, right? We don't want cursed eye either. Uh, that's so bad. But we don't have anything else we could really do to get money. Maybe I should have taken it, huh? I mean, I don't know what um skinny odd mushroom would have done for us. I don't think it would have done anything great for us because uh. Skinny odd mushroom kind of sucks. Uh, okay. I guess we're done then. Damn, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. It's a huge shame it did not. But we can go to the next floor. Honestly, this run isn't... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but this run is not going to be lasting very long. Interesting first floor. It could have been a little bit better. But yeah, I don't want to take Cursed Eye because I don't like how it interacts. The skeleton key pickup is nice. But I don't know if it's going to be helping us that much. And it would have been pretty awful had I taken um, Skinny Odd Mushroom just to get Sad Onion right after it. Okay, well, bad dodge. That's my own fault. That happens a lot to me with the Bonies. I always, like, double back and get hit by them. Oh, we do have a little of Chad, so that'll give us a little bit more HP. I don't know. I feel like that was a bad play with, uh, with Diplopia, maybe. Not the best play, honestly. Uh-oh. It was like the pincered attack for a second or two. There we go. So we have two pips lined up for the damage up. We just need one more uh, one more kill with our slam and we'll get the damage up. Oh, you know what I should have done also? I keep forgetting, but uh, yeah, I should really definitely use the tension move a little bit more. I forget about that move, but it can really get you out of a pinch. Uh-oh. I don't like those crab enemies. There we go. So we get the damage up that we wanted. It's only 0.15 for the f rest of the floor. That's fine, you know? Every damage up counts. Sometimes, uh, a couple of the runs I've had, this has been the only damage up I've gotten. Just from the, the pips that we fill up, so, you know? For sure, every damage up really counts. With how this game is sometimes. Yeah, these enemies kind of suck. They take too long to kill, and they're just too annoying. Oh, thanks for the golden key. We really needed that. Uh-oh. Alright, let me try my best not to get hit here. Should I do this? Yeah, I probably should do the meat spin, huh? Also, I should probably stop referring to it as meat spin. <laughs> for many reasons. Oh, the bubble hit me. That is bad. At least a little, little Chad will keep us alive for a little bit, but yeah, I don't think this run's gonna go too well. If I'm, if I'm keeping it real with you. Alright, uh... There we go. The AoE effect, the, the slam move is pretty tight. I like that move. Alright, so what are we doing? What's the game plan right now? I guess the next thing we could do is to head over to the shop, maybe? Just to see what's inside the shop. 
even though we don't really need anything. It would be a decent idea to check it at least. Uh, we have so many keys, you know? Why not? Uh, we don't have any bombs, so we can't like blow up our donation machine and get a little bit more money if we want to buy something. But probably worth checking for soul hearts, right? Because at the moment, we're in desperate need for soul hearts, the way it stands right now. Alright, let's uh, do some of that. Now, I don't think euthanasia is going to help us too much. We'll get the occasional euthanasia shot whenever we do a slam move. But aside from that, it's not really going to come into play too much. This is what I kind of mean. Like, I feel super weak right now with uh, Bertrand. I don't know, like, you just- it feels like you're not doing enough damage most of the time. Okay, let's just do this so that we can get the heck out of there. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, damn it, I kind of flubbed the, the tension move. And did not get the dash that I wanted to get. Oh yeah, that's right. Euthanasia can destroy objects like that. Undestroyable objects like statues and stuff. That was actually pretty tight. I like that. You got some cool moves as uh, Bertrand, that's for sure. I very do much, uh, very do much. Am I making sense? What the hell am I trying to say? I, I really enjoyed this character mod is what I'm basically trying to say. Without sounding like a moron. It's really cool. The character is fun. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just feel like underpowered sometimes. But I, I you know, I, I could just be really, like really bad. Mystery Sack finally gave us a payout. I don't know where the secret room is. Uh oh, I really hate these enemies. Because they shoot at like such random intervals. Especially when there are multiple of them in the room at once. It kind of just like makes it very hard to dodge. Yo, could you even could you imagine if that um if that secret room play actually worked out for me in the last floor? We could have gotten something better if we had more bombs to reroll or if we got a better payout from the donation machine. Neither of those things happened, so kind of unfortunate it panned out like that. I guess I did kind of waste some bombs, right? By blowing up things they didn't really need to blow up. But anyway, yeah. I'm liking this run so far. We're doing okay. It's just that uh, we need a little bit something. I don't really know how the synergies go with Bertrand at all. Because I have not gotten too many crazy synergies. I've just gotten like Brimstone, Mob the Void, Mom's Knife that one time. Nothing too crazy, so I don't really um, know how they go with Bertrand. But I think we're just gonna get the Soul Heart and we'll blow you up, but I won't blow up the donation machine because I want to preserve some money. Yeah, I've been, I've been like awful to the my donation machine recently in streams and uh, some breaking runs. There's a really cool breaking run I had with Keeper that I kind of want to put on YouTube that I streamed. I don't really know if it's like YouTube worthy. I don't, I don't really know what I want to do yet with this channel. Because I started out doing Terraria videos. And I do like Terraria, I just haven't like done any Terraria in a while. Not that Terraria is going anywhere. Of course, if you're still here for Terraria, thank you very much for waiting. I will be doing some more videos soon. I just like, don't know um, what I really want to upload, you know? I wanted to take a look at some mods for Isaac, some character mods. So I might do that. If you guys know any like good character mods I should check out, uh, I'll check it out. I like I like mods like this, like Bertrand, how it kind of just like, it's really dynamic, you know? Like it ch really changes the playstyle of how you do. It's not like it's just, you know, here is a, for instance, here is anime character that look like anime character, but they just shoot normal tears like everyone else, you know? That's what I mean. There's a lot of mods that are like that, you know? I just like, I like mods like this, that it like really changes how you play. Like uh, Samuel, Samuel, whichever character had the scythe that came out when um, After Birth Plus first came out. That was really cool. And there's a couple of other um, character mods I might try it as well, like the Octoline mod. I've seen that for a little bit. That looks, it, it kind of piques my interest. I don't really know much about Splatoon. But that mod kind of piques my interest a little bit, so... I think I will try to make a couple videos on character mods that are like really cool and like the playstyle that you do is really different. I want to try something like that. Uh oh. 
I forgot with that attack, you gotta keep moving. You can't really uh, stand around too much. Okay, so so there's no way we're gonna like keep our Devil Deal bonus, honestly. There's just too much going on in this fight. And our DPS is not the best. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit at some point. Dude, we've really done damage to this boss, to Monsoon. This is one of the newer bosses, of course, from the mod. I, I like the boss. It's not too bad, actually. It's like one of the tamer bosses in this mod. Because this mod has like some egregious bosses, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, well, we took damage. There goes our Devil Deal chance. I tried my best, but we're just not doing enough. Our damage is not on par to where it should be. Which is like the main issue I have with uh, Bertrand. As much as I like the character playstyle, it just feels like you're so weak most of the time. Yeah, it could just be me being like really awful. I don't really know. Not that I'm like the best player or anything. I think I'm pretty decent, you know? I'm just like over 600 hours at this point. I've been playing The Binding of Isaac for like, I don't know, since like 20... 13 or 12 or something like that when I first heard about this game my friends were playing the cracked version in high school and Then I just started watching videos of egg and here am I here am I here am I now, you know 12 years later. I mean 12 years. What the hell am I saying? Uh, Okay <laughs> Bro, did you guys see how awful that run was? Okay, well, let's do another run. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like, I, I really like Bertrand, but like, maybe I just don't know how to play. I gotta watch someone better than me play this character, because I'm, I'm clearly doing something wrong, I guess, right? It can't just be that um the character is bad. It has to be me. I can't blame the game for my losses. Like, you know, I only have myself to blame. But I just don't know if it's like really me being bad or if it's the game or what. Brittle Bones is interesting. I'll take it. I always conf confuse this. I always confuse uh this item with compound fracture. A lot of the, a lot of the times I take it and I forget that it does that to your HP. But yeah, we're gonna take it. I don't know how it affects us, but it technically gives us more HP, right? Technically. If this is full health, that'll be really cool. Oh god, it's like the opposite of full health. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, that was an accident. Yeah, you know, um, I I, will, I wanted to keep that soul heart there to kind of insulate our bone hearts. So, you know, it sucks that we got rid of it. But we still have a lot of HP. If we can just get some red hearts to fill up the containers, we'll be in a good spot. Whoa, that is a mega champion enemy. I don't think that enemy will kill us in one hit, right? I don't think so. But that is a dangerous foe that we should get rid of as soon as possible. But yeah, I hope we can get like some cool synergies, because I don't know, I just haven't gotten... I haven't popped off too much with Bertrand in my runs with this character. Uh, doorstop. I don't know how doorstop really works. Like, I've, I, I, I've gotten the intricate before, right? But like, I've never really used it before. I don't know what's intricacies, I should say. But it's cool that we got it, at least. Uh, it would be nice for us to get some red hearts. Oh, the creep. I forgot those enemies leave creep. I forgot about that. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Because, you know, this is our lifeline right now. Oh my god, no. I want to try that room again. Because there is a tinted rock. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Yeah, I'll try the pill, whatever. Health up? That's actually interesting. And we have a dice bag, which is an item from the um, mod pack. Basically, it gives you glass dices every couple rooms. So, like, you can get, like, a glass D8, a glass D6, etc. Uh, you, you're not able to use them with the blank card. They're, like, their own entity. They kind of like their own consumable, so you can't use it with a blank card. But you get, like, dice effects every couple rooms that you can use one time in the form of a consumable. So that's pretty cool that we got that, honestly. Uh, nice pickup. A d6 would be nice from it, of course, so we can reroll maybe the devil deal. And aside from that, I don't think I would use anything else. 
maybe D8, but probably not. I don't think the stats matter too much as Bertrand, aside from damage. Hey, how does our uh, meat spin attack work in this fight? Is this a good attack to use? Probably. Yeah, looks like it is. Now, my only question is, why was Gary, um, Larry Jr. poisoned there? Don't know what caused that poison, but that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, we can go, to go down to the next floor. That was a pretty decent floor. Hopefully it keeps up. So, you know, our main focus again, we're going to try and get the pips as soon as possible. Get that damage up. There we go. That's good. Now, we got to watch out for those enemies that spread the gunpowder creep because of that right there. Um, the ignition from uh, these other weird enemies. Okay, hold on. I do like I do like that though, like the the little gunpowder creep and the enemies that ignite the gunpowder. I, that's pretty neat. I like that. I got some very uh, interesting enemies in the mod pack for sure. I, I do like the enemy design. A lot of the enemies are pretty cool. All right, I keep missing my slams for that damage up, so let's try to be a little bit more careful. And let's also try not to take any damage because we're just gonna lose a full bone heart in that case, and we really don't want that to happen. But yeah, like, lots of cool enemy designs in this mod for sure. Really interesting, you know? I do enjoy this mod a lot. Uh-oh. Don't take damage. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There's our damage. We just need some red hearts, man. How many bone hearts have we have we've lost so far? Was that the third one, I think? Yeah, I think it, that is the third one. How could I have gotten out of that? Was there anything I could do? I guess I could have maybe use the the attack the tension attack this thing i keep talking about it but i have not really utilized it that much uh i know what b skin does but how does it work as bertrand b fling so it has like its own uh oh that's interesting so i know like this m this mod was made by like the bertrand mod i should say I, I think some people that worked on the Bertrand mod also worked on um, Fiend Folio. So it's interesting that there is like special synergies for Bertrand as well with the Fiend Folio items. It's really cool. So every time we do a, a dash, we will shoot um, bullets from the Beast Skin item. And what the Beast Skin item usually normally does is like every time you attack, it shoots a giant circle around you, kind of similar to what's going on right now when we spin. Uh, I believe that's what it does. I've gotten it like one time, I think. Well, let's go ahead and check the item, the secret room, I mean. Uh, we can leave Key Bum. I don't really like Key Bum, honestly. Alright, cool. Those enemies are kind of dangerous. The ones that have the. Um. Bomber boy bomb stuck in them. So whenever you can kill them and get rid of them pretty quickly, that's really good. And stay far away from them. I'm pretty sure the bomb explosions also ignite the gunpowder, right? I might be wrong about that, but uh, I'm pretty sure they do. So we should be using our spin a little bit more then, since we have uh, bullets that come out when we do. That's pretty cool. That just makes our spin attack even more potent than it already is. What is that? That's a D12. Rerolls rocks. Interesting. Can we get tinted rocks that way? I don't actually know, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a full clear before. Actually, no, let's fight the boss first. Yeah, let's fight the boss. But um, are you able to get tinted rocks if you reroll, if you use the D12? Does that happen? That's something I don't really know about, actually. There's a lot I don't know about this mod still, which is why I'm still playing, you know? Cause I've barely, I haven't really played Finfolio for that much. Like there's still a lot of things I don't understand, a lot of synergies I don't know. So I want to learn a little bit more um, as we go on. Let's do the Devil Deal first before we mess with that. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one at all. We can give you some HP, I guess. Okay, that's all you're gonna get. I think Fiend's Horn is actually pretty decent, and we'll just... Smashable Minions, Minions give Slam Meter. Oh, that's pretty cool. So our Minions will give us some Slam Meter. 
aside from speed down, those are all, all those pills are pretty good. So if you don't know what the GMO corn does, when you when you get it, it just does a bunch of random pill effects. And we actually got some pretty decent payouts on the pill effects, honestly. So that's cool. I like that. Uh, we got lucky because usually I don't, I don't usually take that item, but I figured we might as well take it because we could finesse uh, HP up if we're at low HP. Well, zero HP, I should say. And we did, so that's pretty good on our part. But yeah, um, Fiend's Horn is actually pretty decent because it will go ahead and spawn minions for us every time we... Uh, I, I think you have a chance to spawn a minion when you kill them, when you kill an enemy. And that's pretty good because the, the little minions that you get from the Fiend's Horn and when you play Fiend themselves, they move pretty fast, they're consistent with their damage, and they basically home in from like anywhere on the map, so you don't really have to worry too much about... Uh, about making them aggro into enemies like you would for other minions. Other familiars like uh, Lil Haunt. You guys know how Lil Haunt like hardly ever homes on the enemies. You gotta get like really close. You don't gotta even worry about that with the fiend horn enemies at least. The minions I should say. Uh oh. I like it. I really, I really like appreciate the animations from those enemies with the plank stuck in their head. That spin. That remind me of Crash. Really cool animations, you know? But yeah, I have been watching like other people play a little bit. I've, I've been watching Cobalt Streak every once in a while. Play this game, uh, the Fiendfolio mod on stream. Just to learn a little bit more. Because there's a lot of stuff I don't know myself. You guys should definitely check him out if you want like actual good Isaac play. Because <laughs> I'm pretty awful. How long has this video been going on? Is Am I even recording right now? Okay, I am recording. Because I've been here for 36 minutes, so if I were just sitting here and not recording the whole time, that would be pretty crazy. You know what would have been interesting? If if uh, the GMO corn actually identified some pills for us in the rotation? Doesn't seem like it did. But I think I will roll with mom's bottle of pills, actually. Also steal? Oh, maybe it did identify pills as well. So I know it gives you random pill effects, but maybe like post pills that are in your run as well and it identifies them for you so oh, that's interesting i didn't know that so it goes ahead and identifies some pills as well that are in the rotation because i definitely have not taken a balls of steel pill as of yet so that is good to know at least all right so we gotta get our pips up as soon as possible uh oh that enemy almost snuck up to me I don't have enough range to reach that stupid spider on the wall. Okay, there we go. So one thing to know about uh, Fiend's friend, I think I may, may have made a mistake earlier, but uh, the the minions from uh, Fiend's Horn, they do fly to, to get enemies that are like on walls and stuff, but only if you have flight, I think. If you don't have flight, then yeah, they, they can't fly. I believe that's how it works. Oh, you know what else I forgot to note? I'm pretty sure that the corn gives you a damage up as well. I wasn't actually looking at the item descriptions, but I'm pretty sure that the the GMO corn, it also gives you a damage up. I'm pretty certain, like a damage up of one, along with the pill effects that you get. But yeah, it does seem like it did identify some pills for us. That's pretty cool if it did. Let's go ahead and uh, slam into those guys. And we should do the spin attack as well. Some AOE inside here. Why is the door open? Oh, I have the... The door stopper. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh, that's what they meant by slam minions. So I, I can slam the minions and they'll explode as well with, with bullets. That's interesting. I, I really like that synergy. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know. That's what the... um. The text meant when we picked up Fiend's Horn. That's really interesting. I like that. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind then. I could go ahead and sl and uh, slam my minions as well when the time comes. And we should use Gulp, but I don't know if I want to Gulp this trinket at least. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. For some reason, every time you do a slam, you use the pill automatically. I, I that kept happening on stream. I don't know if it was me or not. But yeah, I do remember that. Whenever you do, uh, whenever you do use your slam, it uses the pill that's in your 
I don't know if it just uses any consumable you have, including cards and runes, etc. But it definitely does use the pill whenever you do the slam attack. I don't know what's up with that. That's really weird. I don't know if it was something that was in the user manual that I didn't read. But that does happen. Because I definitely did not use the pill there on my own. That was more so the game doing that for me. Without my consent. Alright, so we have a new boss in the Finfolio mod pack. We have Batty. The regular version of Batty is kind of hard to dodge when it uh, does a swooping attack. Not this one, but uh, it does like a swooping attack that I find really hard to dodge. I think this is a pretty like difficult boss fight for the caves, honestly. Well, I'm gonna try my best not to take any more damage because I want to do keep. I do want to keep the double deal if we can. I've already taken a bunch of damage as it stands. Okay, there we go. Cool. How much damage did I take? I don't. I don't know because uh, there's another another thing about um, Bertrand is that it doesn't really make loud hit sounds from what I've noticed. So whenever I take damage, I can't really tell it if I if I if I even if I have actually taken damage because it, it makes like very minute unnoticeable hit sounds whenever you take damage. I guess it's just like a damage choice, right? Not a damage choice. Design design choice is what I meant to say. It's just like a strange design design choice of the character, but you don't really uh, make noticeable um, grunts when you take damage. Which I wish that was not the case, because I'd rather you know hear when I take damage. It'll at least make it a little bit more noticeable. So when I want to use the glass D twenty that we picked up, I don't know if I talked about that. But we do have a D twenty. Um, and are we gonna use it? I don't really know. Also, a thing to note, I guess, you kind of do have spectral tears, so you can uh, lunge your neck over obstacles. So you do have spectral tears in a sense. Oh yeah, we will take Charm of the Vampire because we don't really have a choice. Doesn't seem to do anything special. I know there are like some items that like do a special little effect since they don't operate um, the way they should with with uh, Bertrand. You kind of have like special synergies depending on which item you get. So that's pretty neat. Alright, let's do this for the AoE and hopefully dodge these spider attacks. Okay, cool. Now, how do I break these guys' defenses? Awesome, awesome. Uh, lemon party, we'll take the glass d20, of course. And I guess I can blow these up and hope for some money. I think BFF makes um, your friends from oh last D eight yeah sure let's let's take it not bad actually I don't think that was too bad because our fire rate doesn't even matter that much honestly but yeah I believe that the the BFF it does makes your minions from um, fiend's horns a little bit tougher like they do more damage it, it affects them so that's actually a pretty decent pickup. And a good synergy for what we have right now. I gotta figure out what we're gonna use the glass d20 on. Before we get another dice drop that we actually wanna keep for long term. Okay, cool. So I'll just let you take care of that. It's pretty awesome that they can just get you the slam bar like that. You can literally just like chill and let them do most of the heavy lifting. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. Because I don't really trust these enemies. Since we gotta kind of get close to them. But let's go collect that key and then we'll head upwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just full clear to the floor, right? Why not? Because we're not even that strong. So we might as well just put our advantages that we have. Which is something I always like to do in this game. Don't rush if I don't really have to. We don't, we don't have much of a reason to rush right now. Whoops. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but I guess we can just leave that floor. That room doesn't really matter. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the spin attack. And I should also get into the habit of doing our tension attack as well. I keep forgetting about that attack. Uh, let's go ahead and get a pill. Health up is actually really nice. So do we have two health up pills or is one of them a uh, health down? Uh, interesting. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and... We're gonna get Guppy's tail, of course. Then we're gonna pick up the... What's that thing called again? 
Pandora's box here. There we go. Pandora's box. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna use it, and I think we're gonna use the glass D20. What does it drop on this floor? As long as it drops um, consumables, that's all that really matters. Alright, so where are we? We're on the catacombs one, so it's just gonna give us a boss item. That's fine. So, uh, we'll get the boss item. It's lunch. Rotten meat. Not too bad. We'll get that. We will pick this up. Oh, it's a sticky penny. Well, we'll go we're gonna go ahead and pick up the nickel. Then we will use the glass D20 to reroll everything. Do we know this pill? We do not know this pill, but I will Feels take like it. I'm walking on sunshine. All right, cool. Not bad, not bad. You know, just to get that out the way, because we've had it for so long, and I didn't know what we were going to do with it. So I think that's a decent play on our part. But we'll go to the next floor now. We're really running up the time on this run right now. I, I actually do enjoy um, taking my time. Like, I don't really go for boss rush anymore, since I don't have an incentive to. Since we've already unlocked everything. So I will go ahead and take my time with the, the floors and not worry about rushing too much. Two keys for a dime doesn't seem that bad, right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the meat spin. I think this is like our best AoE to deal with uh, crowd control. Our AoE effect. And I should be using the slam as well. We gotta get some of those inside there. Now, I don't remember, was this something I tested the last time? But are we able to use our attention to, like, go through the... Go through uh, this thing for free. Oh wait, did we just do it? Did we did we get in there without taking damage? I can't tell if we did. Let's try this pill. Puberty. So one more puberty pill, and we get um. We get uh. An HP up. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted. I had to make sure. I guess we didn't. Like I couldn't tell because we we don't take we don't make a lot of noise when we get uh, take damage. So I actually thought that we got in there for free, but I guess I just didn't notice myself take damage. Damn, that would have been tight if that was the case. Oh, that would have been awesome. I feel like it should have worked like that, but yeah, that would be too OP. That was cool though, you know. I, I, I thought it would work like that. I think we'll actually hang on to lemon parties. Probably a little bit more useful than whatever that crap was. I already forgot, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't really hold on to pills because of that very reason. But we will try and attempt to get maybe magic mush or another pill. I guess we'll carry this. Interesting to note that it does show up as a card on the map at least. But yeah, it's definitely, uh, you can't use these glass dice items with the blank card. It just doesn't work. I've tried when we had a break and run a while ago on stream. Alright, there we go. So now we have the damage up, which is awesome. Whoa, how does technology work with this character? I have no clue. Tension lasers. Laser cord, laser slam. Okay, interesting. So we can't like actually fire technology, I guess. Maybe we can with when, when we're using our neck, but it's not very often that. Oops, excuse me. It's not very often that enemies walk through our necks. So I don't think that really matters too much. But we do have a uh, laser slams. It said so. That's something to look forward to, I guess, to see how that works. I think I did get technology one time with a. Uh, with this character, but I don't remember how it works. Oh, uh, I really, I really hate the um, camel enemies like that, the cloaked enemies. I don't want to say it's unfair or anything, but like they're so hard to see occasionally for me. So let's see what these laser stamps look like. Oh, it's like when you have like Guppy's head or sad bombs with technology. That's interesting. I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. We'll go ahead and buy a key, and I think we should buy Charge Baby for more, um, more Mom's Pill plays because we do have a, uh, we do have, uh, give me a second. 
Sorry, I had to do something. But anyway, we, we do have, um... What's that pill called? I keep forgetting. <laughs> dude, my memory is awful. Like, I need to go to a doctor or something, dude. My memory is trash. But we do have balls of steel in the rotation. Which is probably the only pill that matters in our rotation right now. So it would be nice if we can get some more balls of steel pills for us, for ourselves. Um, our other pills don't really matter. I guess the health up pill is okay, right? But I think we're more concerned with balls of steel for sure. So if we can get some more of those in the rotation, that'll be real nice. And we actually do have a D6. So we, we can do one reroll, maybe on the um, Devil Deal if you get one. Or the boss pedestal. I think we're better off just saving it for a uh, Devil Deal, honestly. Might be better suited for Devil Deals. So I'm going to attempt to save this for our next Devil Deal that we get, hopefully, at some point. Okay, um, we kind of need... Whoa, what the hell? I don't like these hive enemies. That's crazy. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just going to let our fiend friend take care of those enemies for us. Why is it not doing enough damage? Can you please kill it? And they shoot the stingers at us too that keep bouncing? Oh my god. What is this nightmare room? Wow. That's just... Wow. Let's get the hell out of here before we take damage we don't want to take. That's crazy. How did that enemy not die from a single slam? Okay, well there's like pure carnage going on right now. It's kind of hard to keep track of everything that's happening. One thing I'll say about this mod is that I seem to take... There's a lot of instances of me being, hey, how did I take damage? That happens a lot. I just like take damage from enemies and I'm not sure how I even got hit in the first place. So that's our third purity pill, so that is an HP up, right? It is. I don't think you can get any more HP ups from PBD, right? It's just a one-time thing for the adult transformation. Tears Down didn't do affect us at all. And we have two D6s now, right? Oh, we don't. Yeah, never mind. Ignore me. We do have a battery charge in here, so we should go back and get the battery charge. Uh, here we go. Hey, there we go. Balls of Steel. Awesome. So why don't I do that and just hold on to Balls of Steel for right now? And see if we need to use it to like bring ourselves back to life or anything after the level deal is done. But yeah, um, in Fiend Folio mod, there's a lot of like floors and rooms and stuff that are just like so crazy. I just find myself asking, how did I take damage, you know? There's too much going on on the screen and like some of the enemies are obscured and stuff like that. A lot of stuff, a lot of uh, those crazy rooms. Which isn't, like, bad, but, you know, sometimes it feels a little bit unfair to the player when you're just, like, constantly taking damage and you gotta, like, really question what even hit me in the first place. Alright, so we have Crampeasy, which is, uh, not good. I've been taking some damage again. I find it hard not to take damage as, uh, Bertrand as well. You just kind of, like, take damage a lot. And... Let's go ahead and reroll this and we get the nail. Should I just take the nail for like guaranteed soul hearts instead of messing around with the pills? Because uh, most of our pills are pretty awful. Yeah, I think so. Like the only good pill we have in the rotation is balls of steel. And that doesn't show up that often. So I'll just take the nail instead. I think that's a smarter idea. And I'll take these two keys and then... Yeah, let's just use the D20 here, because I don't feel like keeping it. And we can go down to the next floor. Yeah, I think that's a good idea for us. The nail is probably a little bit more consistent, because our pills aren't really that great. And we got the adult transformation, which is like probably the most important thing we could have gotten, aside from the health, the uh, balls of steel pills. Okay, that was weird. That bat was a necromancer enemy. Hmm, interesting. Are these guys not dead yet? Okay, there we go. Huh, those enemies seem kind of tanky. Was that just... 
Those are just me. Like, those enemies seem really tanky, to be honest. And we're gonna use this a couple times. Use that a couple times, get some money. That was the game kid, right? Yeah. I was about to say, what? What? Why? Why did that happen? But I forgot that we have the, the cartridge, not the game kid. We have the cartridge. That occasionally gives us the game kid uh, invincibility. Okay, there we go. Yeah, like this is the this is what what I've noticed with Bertrand at least. You get to these instances where like the enemies are hard to approach and like your neck isn't long enough to attack them. You know what I mean? Like you don't have enough range to get in, hit them, and not get hit by their bullets, basically. This looks like it's gonna be like a two-party room. With how few enemies are in here right now. Okay, guess it's not. Yeah, but that's that's the that's the main issue I've been um I, I have with Bertrand in the later floors. You just like I don't know. You don't do enough damage to, to the enemies first off, and basically you're always taking damage because you're trying to like approach them and your neck isn't long enough. It doesn't have enough range to like safely attack them at least without getting hit yourself. I did just take some damage, fortunately. Wow, my one slam wasn't enough to kill the leaper? That's pretty crazy. Oh god. Okay, let's go ahead and slam on this enemy, if we can. It is always pretty satisfying when you land the slams, for sure. And I'm taking too much damage right now. Yeah, that was pretty satisfying. But yeah, that's like the main issue I run into in the later floors. We're just like, we're just leveraging HP at that point, right? You know? It's uh, taking a bit too much damage than I would uh, rather take. And it feels like there isn't much you can really do about it. Because your synergies aren't like that great. Unless you get like crazy damage up. Without that, you know, you're just like not dishing out enough damage to kill these enemies without getting hit. And without putting yourself at risk because you gotta get close to them every time. Oops. But I could just be wrong, you know. Like I'm saying, it could just be me being like a bad player. Which is why I don't want to like really blame the game. For my own shortcomings with just being bad with the new character. With Bertrand. I haven't used the tension move like at all effectively yet and I keep like mentioning it but I just have not done it. I gotta keep that in mind for those really BS rooms. Alright, so let's try to find like the item room or something so that we can use this thingy. Whoops. There we go. That was a good use of it. To get out of the corner from those enemies. Yeah, actually that's a really good use. To get out the corner. That's what you should really be using the um, detention move for. Unfortunately, you can't go over Spike, so we're just going to leave that key alone because that seems like more trouble than is, is worth doing. And Daddy Longlegs is actually really good, especially since we have BFF as well. So that's actually a really good pickup for us. Oops. All right, cool. So there is a charge key inside here, right? Awesome. Yeah, um, Daddy Longlegs is a really good pickup. I really do like that familiar a lot. Oh, it does so much damage, especially with BFF. Oh, we are one third Guppy. I, I completely forgot that, that about that. We are one third Guppy. I don't think I've gotten Guppy with uh with this character yet with Bertrand. So I don't know how that um synergizes. I don't know what's that like. I'm, I'm assuming you know it's just like Guppy. He, he spawn flies whenever you do damage. It would be cool to get, because that's something I have uh, yet to gotten with Bertrand. The sun's actually nice. We could use that later for mapping at some point. But yeah, I, I, I do gotta use the, um, the move a little bit more offensively. The tension spring move, whatever you want to call it. That move, I gotta use it a little bit more effectively when the time comes. I'm not sure what, what causes them to be poisoned. Because like, I noticed that they are taking a lot of poison damage, the enemies. 
But I don't know what what I'm doing to make them take poison damage. Uh, I mean, we could we could take the red candle, but I'm just gonna ignore it and let's try to get some rerolls in. Maybe get like champion belt or something. A car battery, yeah, that's pretty safe for what we have right now, so I don't mind car battery at all. Mom's purse, sure, why not? And then we can call it a day and get out of here. Oh, this is only Necropolis one. I thought this was Necropolis two. Damn, we're going pretty slowly then. Yeah, I'm, I'm going a little bit too slowly. I could, I could speed it up a little for sure. Oops. Okay, that's really awesome. When the spin attack actually works out, it just like, like I said, it just doesn't do enough damage to want to use it consistently. Uh, glass D10, we can ignore that. And yeah, we'll also ignore equality because I don't think we really need to take that. I'm gonna use this just to get some damage for Loki. If it wasn't for Daddy Long Legs, I don't think we'd be doing enough damage right now. It's just like not sufficient damage for where we're at in this in, in this part of the game right now. And we didn't get a double deal, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and gonna do that. And that gave us luck and range up. Interesting. Was that the mother transformation? Like, does, does that give you stats, or was that just mom's pearls that was doing that? I don't, I don't actually know. But on to the next floor for us. This is gonna be the mom floor, and then uh, we're off to the womb and beyond, which is someplace I haven't been in a couple years now. I don't like the connotations of that joke, honestly. But we did get a game kit effect, so that's pretty cool. Let's just go ahead and eat these guys. And visit the arcade, and then eh, we don't really need much from the arcade. I'll just skip. Oh, you know what we can do? We can actually use the um, the nail inside that room and crush the skulls, and get a whole bunch of uh, hopefully get a whole bunch of cards and runes and whatnot. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna take the liberty to do that after we. Ah, oh, Daddy Longleg stole my kill on that worm for my pip. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take the liberty to do that once we get to charge with the nail. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and try this out. Alright, just as you would expect, uh, we just got a bunch of hosts instead of anything useful. It was worth a shot, right? You can't say I didn't try it at least. Ah, oh, I wasted my pip again. We have to be a little bit better with that because I do want to try to... Oops. I also forgot that I have the glass D6 because in the back this looks like a like a this looks like a card. So I should put that in the foreground so that we remember that we have a reroll when we uh, need one. Alright, I'm playing like pretty not great right now. Taking too much damage. Luckily we did get a balls or, uh, balls of steel pill drop, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that like right now. We were like playing so poorly. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was about to say, we're just really trying to find the item room right now. See what it is. We'll probably reroll it, honestly. Okay. This doesn't happen too often, but yeah, these like weird worms come out of the wall. They're not too uh, deadly on their own, honestly. But it is it's pretty neat. I do like that. Ooh, plant card. Um. Okay, blank card is blank card. It's good. Don't get me wrong, right? But I'm not gonna take it because I'm just gonna keep the nail because uh the thing with blank card, well the thing with Bertrand is that you just take too much damage in the later floors. At least I do. So I'd rather just have the nail so that we can replenish our HP when we need to, and not mess around with blank card too much. But yeah, blank card would have been a. Uh, Good choice for sure, of course. Not a bad choice at all. Okay, well I don't have a choice but to do this, so... The world, let's just pop it. So a we do. And then we'll go downwards. We'll check out the secret room, I guess, since we have the bombs. Uh, we need some keys, like, desperately. Right now. You know what would actually be pretty good? The one time you actually want to see enemy HP is with uh, Bertrand. That would be really good for us right now, so that I can actually see when we should be using our slam attack. 
because I have wasted the slam a couple times because I can't really tell too well when the enemies are close to dying. <sighs> I'm also really sleepy. Uh, when I started, I started recording this. Oops, I was trying to look at my phone. That was my own fault. But I started recording this, uh, I don't know, like maybe 15 minutes ago by, the, by now. Ooh, I did not see that enemy there. I'm playing kind of bad. Oops. Uh, it's 5.17 a.m. I don't know when I started recording, like, 4-something. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I should be in bed right now. But I just wanted to, you know, get some content out for the channel. I don't like just ripping my, uh, runs from Twitch and not really doing anything else, because it feels lazy to me. I'm not saying, like, that is lazy or anything. I just don't like doing that myself. I want to, um, get something unique. Okay, so Fortune Worm is interesting. I don't think it works with us. You can read what it says at, at the left. I don't think it. I don't think it synergizes with Bertrand. But I would never. I don't. I don't want to take Fortune um, Worm anymore because the text that shows up on screen it just obstructs the whole screen, and it's really annoying when it happens. When you get a fortune, it obstructs what you're seeing on screen a lot. So I tend to skip that item. We took a bunch of damage just now. That's a pretty awful room with Bertrand, I gotta say. Cool, we got a pip. Alright, um, we can just go fight the boss now. Uh, you know what? We should check out the curse room because we have an incentive since we do have one third guppy. We should check out the curse room. So let me bomb into whatever this mini boss is. Then we'll go peep the curse room real quick. We can also use this to get into the curse room without taking damage as well. So we'll go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and use the pill to get into the curse room. But yeah, um, Fortune Worm kind of obstructs the screen, so I don't like taking it. Unless I have like the most broken run that it doesn't matter if it obstructs the screen or not. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Okay, at least we were able to get use of the invincibility before it ran out. So we have Hagalaws, uh, we'll just Hagalaws. use it right now. And that does not destroy the fires. We're gonna skip the glass D100 because I'm not trying to reroll the run. But if I were trying to reroll the run, then I would take it. So we have a black rune and D6. I should probably take the sun with me, but I'll take the black rune in case we get some crappy item that we don't want. But yeah, I should I should take the sun card instead. But I'll I'll take this. I'm sure it's a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna go fight mom now. See how that fight turns out for us. We have the D6, we have the Black Rune. Awesome. Would be nice if we can get a double deal on this floor. Uh, we don't have like the best chance, but you know. Almost a three, uh, three fourths chance for double deal. I guess technically this is like over two thirds, right? And we do have the, um, you know, the D6 plus the Black Rune in case we want to reroll whatever the, the Devil Deal has. Assuming we even get one. Oh, I took damage. I didn't notice that. But that's interesting. If I, if I, uh, if I take damage. So hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second, right? So I clearly, I just took damage, right? But I was able to, I was able to, um, keep spinning even though I took damage. So that's really interesting if you could, like, if you can be invincible with, like, a uh, Unicorn Stump or, um, Unicorn Horn, etc. And you can still use your head to do damage. That's kind of broken, honestly. I'm actually gonna use this. Getting rid of Charge Baby isn't the worst thing in the world, so I don't mind that much. And, yeah, I guess we'll take Lord of the Pit so that we can have flight whenever we spin. Not a bad pickup, honestly. Not a bad pickup. But yeah, that's interesting. So I still, even though I had invincibility, I was still able to spin my head. Of course, I was spinning my head before we had the invincibility active. But I don't know if like if you spin after, like if, can you can you spin after you've already activated the invincibility? I'll try to keep an eye out for that next time. That's so broken if that's the case. Okay, actually, yeah, I can still attack even when I'm invincible. That's not supposed to happen, right? Yeah, I don't think you're usually able to attack when you're invincible. You gotta wait for the invisibility to run out. So clearly, uh, Bertrand plays by their own rules at this point. That's pretty neat, I like that. 
Those enemies suck, the home and shot enemies whenever you destroy them. And that guy snuck up behind me too. Okay, so far so far we're off to a bad start in the womb. I've never had a good time in the womb before. <laughs> this game makes you say a lot of weird stuff that you would not say otherwise. We're also gonna skip the D4, of course, because I don't wanna rerun the I don't wanna reroll the run. Unless it starts going down south, then maybe. Oh, sucks that we got hit by that AoE effect attack. Wait, is that guy just doing a drive-by on me? He was doing a drive-by. Okay, cool. Uh, there is a tinted rock right here. You can tell because that rock is kind of pinkish. And not the usual red color as the other rocks. Okay, I should not have used my uh, slam attack just yet. That's fine. And we've reached a dead end, unfortunately. Okay, let's try to get the slam. There we go, awesome. So we got another pit before those guys killed that enemy from us. I, I gotta say, I like the, um, the womb music from the anti-birth pack. It's pretty cool. Wait, did that guy just chomp on that tentacle thing? Did you guys see that? Please tell me you saw that, right? That guy just took a chomp of the tentacle. Uh, that was pretty good. We got rid of speed and shot speed. And uh, sh speed and range for um, damage and tears up. I don't know how tears up affects Bertrand, actually. But the damage is good, even though it was only like 0.6 damage, I think. It's still pretty good. I'd rather have it than not have it, right? But yeah, that's really interesting Um, about the invincibility thing. It seems like Bertrand can still attack even when invincible. Unless you're always able to do that with uh, the Game Kid effect, but not the Unicorn Horn. I know that when you, when you have the Unicorn Stump invincibility or the Horn, you can't attack while you're invincible. But I'm not sure about Game Kid. Maybe you can, I'm just like tripping for no reason. I don't think I am. I think uh, I think that's just uh, Bertrand um, having a weird synergy. I might be wrong about that though, maybe. Oops. Dude, there are just some shots I can't dodge, even if I wanted to. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do the other direction. That's my own fault. I'm going to skip the D20. Wrong way again. So unfortunate. Let's go ahead and pop that though. Yeah, um, the blank card sun would have been a good synergy for the rest of the game, so that we could uh, just have mapping. But I would probably be dead right now if I didn't have the nail. Just being honest with you, the nail is hard carrying me at the moment. Oops. I should do this so that we can uh, get some spinning going. Sweet, so we got the damage up from the pips, so we don't gotta worry about that anymore. For the rest of the floor. We just gotta try to survive, if possible. We're gonna skip this room. Hey, there was just too much going on. If, if Honestly, really, like, it was just like being dead ass with you guys. Um, We're being saved by the nail. <laughs> We'd be dead by now, I'm pretty sure. We're just taking too much damage every floor, every room, I should say. We're taking way too much damage. So we're sort of just leveraging HP. I am gonna check the curse room, why not? So we got the gauze, and we have Awas. Uh, let me pop Awas over here. And it's just another hole to the rest of the womb that we don't wanna go inside of just yet. Also, we are being hard carried by um, Danny Longlegs right now. I should have mentioned that as well. I don't think I've been missing any tinted rocks, right? I don't think so. It's hard to tell because um, the, the Fiend Folio mod, some of the rocks are difficult and my game just froze. Uh, game, you want to unfreeze for me? I don't want to have to redo the womb again.
<clears throat> Sorry about that. I was taking the liberty to rehydrate while that happened. Whoops. Okay, I thought I just ended the recording. That would have been not so great. Actually, let me check OBS. Have I even dropped any frames? Apparently, I dropped six frames out of like 136,000. That's a pretty decent ratio. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I probably shouldn't have gulped the the door holder. Honestly. I took some more damage again. Yeah, this is this is me being bad. We we would definitely be dead without the nail. That's what usually happens around this point. Uh second secret room is probably here, I wanna say. It don't it's not there. Well I don't really know where it is, but just go. Fight the boss. Ah, oh, it's the worst boss. I'm just gonna do this and just keep moving. No point trying to fight this nonsense. Oh man, I hate this boss so much. Fiend, uh, fiend friends, you guys can do the work for me while I just chill back here. Man, this boss freaking sucks. I hate the matriarch so much. Worst boss. Okay, cool. At least it turned out well by just letting the fiend minions do the work for us. Uh, sure, why not? We will, I guess we might as well take them both, right? So we should take Betrayal. Wow, nice. Let's go ahead and take Maul of the Void as well. Wow. Incredible. So I got um, sniped twice and I'm pretty sure I also walked in the spike. Oh wait, we should have used the D6, I guess. But then we wouldn't have been able to take Betrayal. So maybe we shouldn't have done that. So puberty doesn't do anything else, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything else. All right, cool. So let's just go ahead and take the glass D6 and let's get out of here. So we did lose two hearts because we got sniped by the fires. That's my own fault, of course. I should have taken care of the fires before we did that. Um, But we do have Mob the Void, so, we'll, you know, once we charge up the spins with... Oh, God. Damage as soon as we got into the room. That's very unfortunate for us. Alright, cool. So we'll get occasional black hearts. And we also still have the nail, of course. Maybe we didn't even need to do that, honestly. Because of, uh... The nail? That's fine. There we go, let's get that damage up. Now let's go and collect our black heart real quick. But yeah, well, we have a lot of hearts now. We'll be getting a lot of hearts, I should say. Not that we do, no, not that we have a lot of hearts, but we should be expecting hearts, a lot of heart payouts with the uh, between the nail and Maw of the Void, honestly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we can save the D6 and the Black Rune for the chest, if anything. Because I don't know when I'm gonna use them both. Oh, I guess we could use them here, right? Like, we could. Uh, let's try, I guess. Whatever. A Midas Touch? Sure, whatever. I don't know how it interacts with us, but I'll take it. I'm actually gonna save my keys, because I wanna have four keys for the chests. And also, we have a uh, Guppy's Tail, so we're gonna be getting a lot more chest drops. So we wanna preserve in any keys that we can get. Hey, wait a second. So if I do this, does Midas touch the work if I do the tension attack? Let's find out. Shall we? Uh, well, if you guys let me find out at least, that would be nice. I'm, I'm assuming it does, so that's actually a pretty decent synergy if we can get that to happen. Hey, it does. That's cool. Hey, that's pretty neat. Oh, that must mean that we can also do that with Poison Touch, right? If we do have Poison Touch, we could force the enemies to touch us. Is this a Tinted Rock? I don't think so. We can force enemies to touch us by using our attention attack. That is pretty neat. Oh god. So I haven't really been focusing on the pips on this floor. 
there's just too many um pips to fill up so we're not gonna get the damage up unfortunately but that's more than fine it doesn't matter too much we're doing okay for ourselves right now so it's not that much of an issue for us at the moment but i will go ahead and pop this for the damage up so we can also like do this on mom's heart right yeah there we go that's neat i like that oops did not mean to get rid of my uh familiars Okay, thank you very much, Daddy Longlands. You've been carrying us this whole time. Without you, this run would have been over a long time ago. I mean, I guess we can do this to get rid of our last Red Heart, right? Don't know if that's a good idea, but we're gonna do it. And you know what? We should probably rock with this so that that way we don't destroy rocks that we want to, like, um, hang over for cover. So I will go ahead and take the Satanic Bible instead of, um... Uh, the nail, right? Is that what we had? We took the nail over the Black Bible. Oh, I mean the Satanic Bible. The Black Bible is something completely different. Which you should not Google. And I do see a tinted rock. Could you tell this was a tinted rock? Dude, this is so hard to spot. But that's a nice touch, right? It looks like that tinted rock has a... A, a cross on it. Since we're in the cathedral. Which makes sense. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm assuming, at least. It looks like a cross. We should also do this so that we can just fly over this. Oh, we got a glass D6 again. So I don't feel bad about the one that we used on the last floor, I think. It was. Oops. Well, there goes my uh, pip I accidentally just wasted. I should probably charge up my spin attack, right? Well, that sucks. At least we have the Satanic Bible to help us out. Because yeah, like this is just the issue. We gotta get too close to some of these enemies to really uh, do anything to them. Yeah, that was just me being an idiot. That was just me being an idiot. But yeah, we gotta get too close to enemies and we just take a bunch of damage near the end. That's what I've noticed with uh, Fiend at least. I'm um, not Fiend, uh, Bertrand. Some of these foes are just like way too dangerous for us to handle. Dude, this this boss always kind of trips me out. I find their shots so hard to deal with if you can't kill them immediately. And we're not we don't really have like the best um DPS right now, as you could probably tell. But still pretty weak. Oh man, these homing shots suck. Yeah, it kind of sucks having to deal with uh, homing enemies like that. Because, you know, it's just, uh, you gotta get too close to the homing shots. But we can go inside of the curse room without, uh, pain, and we got, uh, this thingy. That's not good. But I guess we were gonna take one harder damage anyway, right? And we did get Leviathan, so that's pretty cool, honestly. We're just leveraging HP at this point. Like, there isn't much you can do to the home and enemies. Which is why I'm so glad that we have so much HP. That we can afford to just slug it all out like this. I don't know, I'm probably not playing that well. But, um... I'm, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna, like, really focus. I wanna, like, display some good gameplay right now. But it's just so hard. In the la later parts of the runs with this character. You just can't get much done without taking a bunch of damage yourself. Or it takes too long, that's another issue. It just takes like way too long to actually do damage. But yeah, we're lucky that we have car battery and everything else that we have to keep our DPS up so much. I don't even know what hit me, what hit me? Okay, crazy. I should use the, there we go, and get Isaac gold. I wasn't expecting him to 
come out of the transformation that quickly. There we go. Got a slam inside there. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I'm not using the the dash enough. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. Oops. Yeah, that's probably like the main issue. I'm not using enough of the tension attack. I think I think that's probably what's wrong. Cause they, that is part of the moveset that I'm just not using enough. And I am complaining a little bit too much, even though I'm not trying my best to not take damage, I guess. So that's something we can try. Um, let's go ahead and pick this back up. Lupin Fling. Oh yeah, that's right. We can do that. I forgot about that. That's so crazy. You can just do that. <laughs> That's sick, I like that. Well, that's that's pretty good damage up. And I guess we could take this for the HP, right? And then we can just pick you up and put you back and suck you. Oh, we got damage out of that, awesome. We got a bunch of damage, two damage up. And we have a vert pill, uh, puberty. I mean, that doesn't do anything for us, but that's cool. Well, we have a lot of damage now. But yeah, I should definitely be using the thing attack a little bit more. That's what the game calls it, so I'm gonna call it thing as well. What killed the haunt? I don't know. That was weird. We do hella damage right now. It's crazy. There we go. We got another pip. Pretty awesome. We got a d20. I'm just gonna use it right here. Maybe you get lucky and get a chest from it. Oops, that's not good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just me being an idiot, as usual. Uh-oh. We're gonna use the fling. Oh god. There's just too much going on right there. <laughs> Way too much. I was about to say, didn't we get Sad Onion again? But that was definitely a different run that we lost on right at the start of this. Completely forgot about that, of course. I erased that from my memories. Dude, that's so trippy. Oh, the D6? Uh, sure? Why not? Let's, let's relinquish the Satanic Bible for now. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I hope so. People were saying that those uh, ghost sounds, they they sound like they come from Luigi's Mansion. Which I kind of agree, they do sound like they come from... Uh... Well, I've, I've never played Luigi's Mansion. So I don't know if they mean like... Uh, if, if it sounds like they come from... Like, booze, or if there's other ghosts in Luigi's Mansion. I'm gonna take technology too, just to see what happens. Ooh, six damage down, that's not good. But we do so much damage still. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But that's a dead end, right? I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's not good. And yeah, we are, we're not gonna take that. That's even more damage down for no benefit. I probably shouldn't have taken tech 2, but we took it anyway. So, you know, we're, we're just like that. Yeah, I hope I don't regret getting rid of whatchamacallit. Oops. Uh, let's try not to get hit if we can. We got the damage up at least. That's pretty sick. But yeah, um, Hemorrhalakia, how does that interact with what we have? Two slam bounces? What? That sounds interesting. And we got damage out of that, I think. I hate Kingpin because of all the stupid... uh. Shots that it spawns. I'm just gonna let the minions take care of it. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. Okay. We're getting some interesting um synergies right now, honestly. There's also a bunch of stuff going on on the screen that I can't keep track of. Uh oh. 
what the hell was that room? Why don't we just go ahead and reroll these things? Yeah, let's do that. Mutants, no, um, Infestation 2? I don't think that does anything for us. I'm gonna reroll again, and we got that. That's Bookworm at least, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of forgot I also have the D8. <laughs> I mean the D6, I should say. There's just too much going on on screen right now for me to keep track of. Man, the, the Lupin fling attack is so trippy. I can't tell what's going on, dude. But uh, yeah, that's the last thing we have. I'll try Crooked Penny one time, and of course it doesn't work. But now we're gonna fight Isaac. I mean, Blue Baby. Well, there we go. Cool, awesome fight. That was a really awesome run. It got kind of crazy near the end, honestly. It got really crazy. But um, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you follow me on um, Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Kyokochan. I do stream there, you know, like I said, three days a week. I stream Isaac, I stream Tauria sometimes, Enter the Gungeon. Lots of roguelikes like that. But I really appreciate you for watching. I'm going to upload some more um, mod videos soon, so stay tuned. I'm going to try some more modded characters. Maybe do another Bertrand run and go around the show, see how that's like. But thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.